Japanese government officials say they expect to sign a deal to supply nuclear power technology to Turkey. The agreement is a chance for Japan to remain a world leader in the nuclear industry. Japanese and Turkish government officials held nuclear cooperation talks earlier this month. Japanese officials say they reached broad agreement. Japanese officials were negotiating to supply nuclear technology to five countries before the Fukushima disaster last March. Their talks with the Turkish government are the only ones they've been able to restart. Japan has held an event in Brussels to restore confidence in the safety of Japanese food after last year's nuclear accident in Fukushima. The Japanese embassy in Belgium organized the event attended by several hundred people on Tuesday. The participants observed a minute of silence for the victims of the March 11th disaster. Japanese Ambassador Jun Yokota expressed gratitude for Europe's support. He called on the European Union to ease the food import curbs it introduced after the nuclear accident. He said Japan conducts strict safety checks. Sushi and other Japanese foods as well as sake from Fukushima Prefecture were served. I hope everything will go back to normal very soon and to share everything with Japan, we are very glad. I think that Japan has still a way to go, but I'm very confident that Japanese people have the power and the strength to go on this very good road. The Japanese government will provide funds to Vietnam so that the country can buy industrial goods made in northeastern Japan. This is, of course, the region which was hit by the disaster last March. The two governments signed an agreement in Vietnam's capital, Hanoi, on Wednesday. As part of an official development assistance program, Japan will offer over three and a half million dollars. Using that money, Vietnam is to buy Japanese equipment for training crew members on ships. The cooperation is very meaningful because it will help people worldwide remember the rebuilding efforts in Japan. Meanwhile, Vietnam's transport minister Ding La Tan welcomed the support. He said Vietnam could learn Japanese people's spirit of reconstruction by getting products from the disaster hit area. Japan plans to offer a combined $48 million in aid to 14 nations, including Mongolia and Sri Lanka. Japan and Kuwait have agreed to step up cooperation in the energy field. The two countries also signed an agreement to promote mutual investments. Prime Minister Yoshiko Noda met visiting Kuwaiti Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmad Al Sabah in Tokyo on Thursday. Noda thanks Sabah for his country's donation of 5 million barrels of crude oil following last year's disaster, as well as for providing a stable supply. Sabah said it is within his country's capacity to meet Japan's increasing demand for oil. The leaders agreed that stability in oil markets is indispensable for global economic growth. Noda explained Japan's disaster reconstruction efforts. Sabah responded that Kuwait will lift restrictions on food imports from Japan. Northeastern Japan reported the largest drop in tourism nationwide. In response, the public and private sectors have launched a campaign to attract more visitors to Tohoku. Tourism is crucial for reconstruction from the disaster. The governor of Iwate, one of the three hardest hit prefectures, made the appeal at a ceremony at Tokyo Station to mark the opening of the Destination Tohoku campaign. Visitors to Tohoku can get information on sightseeing spots and a special discount passport to use at restaurants and tourist facilities in the region. I want to do something to support people there by buying food or souvenirs. I'm going to eat and buy things. That's my plan. 
The campaign events include tours of Fukushima by bullet train from Tokyo Station. 2011 saw a year-on-year -year decline of about 20% in the number of people who stayed at inns and hotels in six prefectures in Tohoku. The tourism agency hopes visitor numbers will return to the pre-disaster level during the year-long campaign.